In today's video, I'm gonna try and do something just a little bit different to what I normally do. I'm gonna to reply to a thread that has been put out. It started off, Nerdy Geezer 78 asked film lovers to name their favorite film genre and give their rationale behind that. And it went out to a few different people and Retro Edge UK asked me to take part in it. And it's a pleasure to do this. Although it's a lot harder to do than I thought it was gonna be. Because there are so many different genres of films that I like. I love foreign films, films like Cinema Paradiso, Il Postino and Diva for three. I like films that leave me feeling stuff, Field of Dreams does. That bit in Schindler's List gets me every single time. That's another area of films that I absolutely love. But to be honest, this genre I've got to pick is such a hard one for me. And so what I've had to do is actually make my own genre up. And let me just tell you just a little bit about it. When I was a little boy, I was maybe, I don't know, seven or eight and onwards, on a Sunday afternoon with my parents, I would sit on the floor and watch the film of the day that happened to be on the telly. And it was such fun because my parents gave me a glass of Cherry Aid, which I still love, a bowl of sweets. Oh yeah, I'll be eating those later. And I used to sit on the floor and these were in the days when I was my dad's remote control. And we would watch this range of films. And so my genre that is of choice, and it's one that I go back to time and time again, I call it nostalgic classics. And it's the films that I grew up with. The films that I watched on the telly when I was a boy, the films that I went to the pictures to see with my mum, dad and sister and whatever. And so that breaks down into three areas. I'm going to share with you the first area and I've pulled a load of my DVDs out to show you. Let's start with the likes of James Bond. On every telly, every Christmas, there was always a Bond film worth watching. My parents, being born in the 20s, loved the old Jolson story. Musicals are a big part of their lives and I loved them. And of course, for the people of my age when I was growing up, Cliff Richard's Summer Holiday was just fantastic. You had these other films. Hitchcock was big and his films were on the telly all the time. Films like North by Northwest, always worth a great watch. This next film I wanna talk about, I loved. My mum introduced me to it when I was a little boy. Jack Lemon played Ensign Pulver in it, and he was so good. But it was a great cast altogether. The film is Mr. Roberts, James Cagney, Henry Fonda, 1953, a gem of a film that is. We always liked something that you could laugh to. And this film was one of those kind of films. Cat Baloo had Jane Fonda in it. Nat King Cole sang in it. It was a really, really good film. And then of course, when you're talking classics, you really can't do better than Casablanca. These sorts of films, I can watch them now. I go out specifically to buy films like this now, and it's the genre I go to most, to be fair. Christmas in our house then and now, for some reason, this is always watched. Calamity Jane, Doris Day at her best. And if you want a film to keep you quiet for the afternoon, well, it always had to be Ben Hur, didn't it? Every Christmas that would be on and we'd sit in front of the telly, eat those sweets, drink that drink. Ah, oh, great days. You could add to that films like A Bridge Too Far. 
as well as that, you've got the African Queen. And going just coming just a little bit newer, I suppose, were films like The Sting. I was a teen by the time this came out. But this was such a good film, and I remember sitting down and watching it with my mum and dad. And do you know what? Even as a teen, I still liked my cherry aid. And this one comes back to me. I was at school and I was lucky enough to go to a paid education school, public school. And one year we had exams and one of the children did really, really well in his exam. And to celebrate it, his dad paid for all of us to go to the pictures and see Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. An absolute gem of a film. I love to see it even now. So they're the first part of it. But you see, there are still two more strands to go. And the next strand are musicals. I have loved musicals since I was a kid. My mum and dad used to have them on all the time. And it's something that I've loved then and I still love now. West Side Story, an absolute gem of a film. Great songs in it, great dancing, great acting. It was really good. How about this one? We all have done this. I'm yet to do what the part of this film that I want to do, Singing in the Rain. One of these days, I am going to run up that street, jumping off and on the curb when it's raining, singing that song. Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. Another film that I've loved ever since I first saw it. Moving on, I was a child. I remember going to see this at the pictures. Oliver, great songs once again. Didn't you just love Jack Wilde in this film? And then there are the classics, what, the classics of musicals that I always think of when I talk about them. Easter Parade, Fred Astaire, Judy Garland. I don't... I would imagine most people watching this aren't, aren't into this kind of film. Fred Astaire again. And this one is who I think is his, his best partner. Eleanor Powell. That one. Broadway Melody of 1940. There is a dance scene in there that even today gets me. I just love it. Then, of course, you can't talk musicals once again without Gene Kelly. And an American in Paris. And the final musical I want to talk about is not the last because I've got loads, still got tons more. But High Society, Bing Crosby, Grace Kelly, Frank Sinatra. What a good film. It is a great film, that is. Until I've discovered recently this one, The Philadelphia Story. This is, if you like, a cover version of this. This is the original. And I have to say, although it's not a musical, it is absolutely hilarious. It's a brilliant film. Well worth seeing. And that takes us into our final part of my favourite genres, I suppose. And that's your general nostalgic films that we used to see on the telly a lot of the time. Before I start that... If you're enjoying this video, please hit that like button. And if you've seen a few of my videos and you like me doing something different like this, then please write it down in the comments and let me know because I'm always quite happy to talk about movies and music. There's just some of the things I love. But let's get back to these films, shall we? This last section. Gregory Peck, Audrey Hepburn, Roman Holiday. A little gem of a film. I loved this when I was a kid, riding about on the scooter all around Rome. <laughs> Good film. Doris Day was always liked in our house. She still is in this one. And Pillow Talk is a great film. I love these types of comedies. They're, they're gentle, I suppose. Gentle is the word I'm looking for. And I really enjoy them. As I said to you earlier in this video, my mum and dad were born in the 20s. And that meant that during the Second World War, they were teenagers coming into young adults. 
And my mum used to tell me stories of going to see all of the great bands that were out at the time. And she got to see Glenn Miller in England. And this film will always remind me of my mum because she would tell me these stories. And when this film was on, I think it wasn't until I was in my 20s and saw it on my own that she didn't talk all the way through it, telling me about her stories of seeing him. But I've got my own musical film kind of what well, I love. I can remember as a kid loving Elvis Presley. And at Christmas, each for a week, we used to get like a different Elvis Presley film every morning on the run up to Christmas. And so I couldn't talk about these films without mentioning my favourite of the lot. GI Blues. I've got the LP that goes with it. I've watched this hundreds of times. I know all the songs. I could even, once upon a time in a job, walked around and lived all around the packing area talking about GI Blues and singing the song and everybody looking at me like I was a nutcase. So this film has a very special place for me. As does this next one. As I said, I loved those gentle comedies from the early 50s and things. And Genevieve just fits the bill. A brilliant film. It's about the London to Brighton rally for all these old cars. And Kenneth Moore, with his ha ha, he he, ho ho, laugh, always gets me with this film. And then you can't talk about comedies in England without, for me, the most iconic of the lot, the Carry On films. There are a load of these. Carry On Camping is my favourite one. This one happens to be Carry On Abroad. I've got loads of them around here somewhere. This was the first one I picked up. But the Carry On films were great for me. I loved Sid James. He was a favourite of mine. And then talking about that, let's go right the way back into the 40s with Passport to Pimlico. A little great film that talked about an area of London being barricaded off and treated as though it was another country. Just a marvellous film. And my final film, I suppose, that I'm going to pick for this little selection, I suppose, is Road to Utopia. Bing Crosby, Bob Hope. These Road 2 films were just brilliant. Have I got to add to these films? Yeah. I don't have in my possession one Marx Brothers film. And the joy that they used to bring when I was a kid was unbelievable. I've seen so many of them. And for some reason, yet, I've not got any. And so that's the area that I'm going to go to next, I suppose, getting Marx Brothers films to put in my collection. As you could tell, DVDs are still a big thing to me. I've had to take them out of their proper cases and fit them into these slips because I'm running out of room. But it's quite likely I'll still be buying more. And so that is the section for me. As I said at the beginning, if you fancy doing this and uploading your own video, go for it. I'd love to see more of them. The links are below in the comments so that you can name the thread and who it's who started it and all that sort of stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this. I'll get back to my normal stuff next. And what I'm going to do is leave you up here. You're going to see a little thumbnail of my 100 favourite movies. If you want something to watch next, click on that. And I will see you next time.